Thank you very much. Good. I feel like this is like <laughs> FBI, CIA. <Yeah. laughs> Of course, we look for we are looking for the best musicians. That is very easy to answer. But also, we look for people that are very flexible, so like listening very fast and can understand the language of the other players and imitate or give something, and the other players can imitate. This is the sort of of what makes the orchestra really quite special because they are really fast and they are sort of like um, listening to each other all the time and influencing the playing of the others and get influenced and be able to, to listen same time even if it's stressful and you have a lot of notes. So it's always like playing your, your thing is very important but playing and listening to other people at the same time, chamber music, even in the orchestra like chamber music is very, very important. I would always recommend don't yeah don't listen to everything have a selection of what orchestra you like and and go for it don't listen to 15 different Mahler 5 or whatever it's not really not worth the time but there's of course you know like you can clearly hear if it's a good recording or bad recording so don't listen to the bad ones when I was young, I was always mostly listening a lot of to Chicago Symphony because I like the sound of the heavy brass. Um, the horns, I like more the German horn sound, a little bit more bright and, and not too dark because it has a little bit more overtones. But also I was listening, when, when I was young, I was listening a lot to opera recordings because when I was 19, I was starting in Frankfurt Opera as a principal horn and had to side read 30 operas without rehearsal. So I was listening to all this. And I think I've learned much more phrasing from singers than actually most of the other players. It was very interesting because they're sort of like, in singing sentences, the music gets very natural. So imagining sentences on solos is quite nice sometimes. That helps a lot. Yeah, it's always difficult to say how to start, like piano notes, like really. But yeah, at this piece, he starts the, the very beginning, like on a half stopped note, so it's not an open note, it's a, their hand covers, covers a big part of the bell. So it's nearly not audible. If it's even not audible here in this studio, then you can imagine in the big hall it's very quiet. But of course, the thing is, it's very difficult to play piano beginnings. No one likes them because, yeah, there's the tongue and the control of the air and things like this. But um, as long as you know that without the air, it never works and that you have to focus on the opening. So the opening in the mouthpiece It's very small, this time so very, very small and little, but should be round. But you can't play without the air, so I breathe perfectly before. And the timing is very important, so that you have to breathe out, in, and while you breathe in, do the setup. Yeah, and the control comes from the air, that's, that's most important, that you don't try to play piano with reducing the air, this doesn't work. Absolutely, because there is some effects, for example, in the, in the concerto, like in the last move, you have to... And that would be like the sound of the natural horn. So, and he, he puts it obviously there. So, da, 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 eh. so if you know it, then you would play it not just normal. But. So give this a little bit harsher sound maybe. So I think you should really know what was written and for which instrument. 
and how it would sound too. And nowadays you can listen to all these recordings of these fantastic natural horn players that are really great. And you can find out, ah, this is interesting. Why does it sound like this? Ah, that's because that is a stopped note or this is a sforzato on a stopped note. But it's very important. And he uses the horn fantastically, I have to say. But he also makes a lot of fun out of his horn player. There's this in the second horn concertos, this part. On the natural horn, it's all like stopped notes and the violins just do the jokes and it's really funny. <laughs>